All right, light them up, boys. I got a challenge you help get at home. Yeah, that doesn't burn out in every year, man. Yeah. By accident. I know. <laughs> After driving Joe's Hellcat, I call this the pansy car. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning here in Troy, Michigan, just outside of Detroit, where Chevy flew me down to take part in what is, well, I think the world's biggest car show. That's right, it's the Woodward Dream Cruise. And there's a saying here, and that is, you will see every car ever manufactured in Detroit on Woodward, but not just every car, but every car in every color. I can't wait. And check out my ride. And coming up right now in the fast lane truck, we're gonna take it cruising down Woodward. So here we go, we're gonna go cruising for the very first time down Woodward Avenue for the uh, Dream Cruise. And I gotta tell you, I'm super excited to be here, to be part of this. We estimate that about 1.5 million people come here to Detroit up and down the street and yes every single car made in Detroit in every single color is represented here I know I've seen them all well let me show you Now I am in the red line edition of the Silverado and Chevy has an incredible 10 different special edition trucks including the Special Ops, the Midnight Edition, this red line which by the way is available not just in the Silverado but I believe in every Chevy and Chevy will tell you that this is your chance to buy a custom truck from a dealer. Now the journalist in me tells you that this is your chance to buy a truck and for Chevy to sell you a truck, in other words, for Chevy to sell more trucks. I suspect both of those are true, but I did have a chance to talk with the designer of the Redline Edition, actually the guy who came up with the kind of the, the graphics of this truck, and I asked him why he did what he did and what he was trying to go for. So let's roll that video. Well, uh, the idea with the Redline is uh, really to have a very subtle um, design on the, on the, on the, on the truck. Uh, if we start with the front, uh, you can see that the, the grill is, is black. Let me, let me start saying that all the red lines um, is like a monochromatic um, to tonality on the, on the vehicles. We just offer them in white, silver and black body colors. And then we have a very sporty look with the dark grill, the dark wheels, uh, black mirror. Um, uh, and then the, the final touch is really like the red accent. Uh, we have the red accent on the wheels. The idea with the hash mark is a little bit to have the, um, the DNA of the Corvette Grand Sport. As you know, the Corvette Grand Sport has hash mark on the front fenders. And all other detail is the emblems. There are with black letters and the outline is red. All the interiors came uh, in black. And uh, also on the trucks we have the black handles. Yes. Did you run out of gas? <laughs> it's only the second time I've ever run out of gas. Uh, I love this old international. It's so cool. It's the uh, last one that exists in the world of this model. Really? Yeah. Which one is it? What's the model? It's a 25 uh, SD. Wow. Is it four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive? Two. Two-wheel drive, all right. There you go. Look at that. First crank. One of the most interesting things that we learned from Chevy 
was the fact that Chevy trucks, classic trucks, are now appreciating. And why is that? Well, because they're affordable. Uh, Generation X and Millennials want to get into wrenching on their own cars. But the problem is that all of the muscle cars from the 60s are really through the roof. You can't touch one, at least in any kind of good shape, for probably under $30,000. And according to Haggerty, especially the classic trucks, and the ones that are appreciating the most are the Chevys, the classic C10s and K10s from the middle to late 60s have almost doubled in price over the last several years. And they're bringing up the other Chevys as well, and that includes a square body, you know, like Brig Green. So if you guys are into classic trucks, like the one next to me, this is the time to buy them. And is there anything on the back that's a little different too? Uh, the well, in the, the hooks are different. Uh, we have also the black bow tie. Oh, that's nice. I like right. that. That's really cool. It's very sporty. Yep. It's part of our accessory line, but obviously when you order the red line, it comes uh, as, uh, as part of the content. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate this quick walk around of the uh, brand new Chevy Silverado, the red line edition. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Nice appreciate to meet you. Thank you. Whether you love muscle cars or classic, oh look at this, hold on. Now for all of you Ford guys, there is a Ford classic truck that is also appreciating on its way up and that would be the Lightning, the first generation from the 80s. Uh, those are going through the roof as well. And for all of you Dodge fans, I would be remiss in not mentioning the fact that the Power Wagon is the truck that you want, especially if you're looking at a classic truck, but those are also on their way up. And of course, the rising tide brings up all boats, or in this case, trucks, and the international trucks are also on their way up. So the uh, kind of the mid to late 60s, early 70s internationals are also coming up. So this is a really great time to be purchasing and buying classic trucks, especially if you like wrenching on them. I started this video by saying that people will tell you that it, you can see every car and truck ever made here in Detroit and in every color. And of course, that's a bit of an exaggeration. But I certainly think that's true when it comes to classic American muscle. If you like Chevy, Camaro, if you like the Ford Mustang, if you like Mopar, the Challenger, the Charger, if you like Corvettes, they're all here. As always, this is Roman reporting from the world's biggest car show saying thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, world's biggest car show previews, reviews, Whatever you want to call this. See you guys next time. Ciao.